<laughs> Hello, my sacrifices. It's so good to see you all again. It's been quite a while since we've done some ASMR, hasn't it? <laughs> I missed you all so very, very much. I hope you all are doing well. I've had quite a busy day. It's been uh, very, very busy. It is quite dark in here, but it lets me get a little bit more personal with you. Pronto, thank you very much for the resub. And so Crispy, thank you very much for the resub. And Sean and Prealis for the resubs as well. You're also very, very kind. Thank you very much for the hydrate, too. You like personal? Good. <sighs> you might hear my cats going absolutely batshit crazy running up and down the hallways. So, I apologize for that. They have the zoomies. <laughs> You also might hear Zolan coughing occasionally because he's actually very, very sick right now. So I've been taking care of him. So you might hear some coughing or some movement and things like that too. And I apologize for it, but he's, he's, <laughs> he's very sick. Lucky Luke, thank you so much for the 100 bits. And Asir, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Mwah. Thank you to you both. I really appreciate it. Yeah, what happened was... He really powered through the stream with Prism. Because he had a sore throat. And then after that... He spiked a really, really high fever, and he's had a fever for the last few days, and coughing, and he hasn't slept, so I've been trying to take care of him, and everything else. <laughs> Giga, thank you so much for the sum, and Bad Mouse for the 100 bits, and Clint for the two gifted sum. I really appreciate that. I am. I'm trying my best. It's actually Father's Day on Sunday. And it's Zolan's birthday on Monday. So I've been scrambling around trying to get things all ready for that. Azir, thank you very much for the hundred bits. And hit no deity for the hundred bits as well. You love my claws. Would you like me to scratch you a little bit? Just <coughs> scratch you up. Mm. Chaos. Mm. Oh, chaos. Come to mommy. Let me coil you up. Love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I bet you all want to be coiled, don't you? You all want to be coiled nice and tightly against me. <sighs> mm. You also might see that my mouth tracking is kind of not on point. It's because the ASMR mic is huge. And I can't really put my camera in front of me without blocking it. So it's kind of in a different position. And it can't track as well. 
but we make do, right? Littlefoot, thank you so much for the hundred bits. I really appreciate that. And Bad Mouse, thank you very much for the hundred bits, too. You want to be coiled up, huh? Mm. I missed feeling your little bodies against me. It's been a while since we've done some ASMR, hasn't it, Chad? <laughs> I kind of miss doing this with you all. Being so close and intimate like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's not like you enjoy this or anything. Oh, really? Somehow, I really doubt that. I think you love it, Kofi. Mm. You're feeling flustered. See, well, we had this discussion, and me and my mods, about what ASMR does to most people. Either... It gets them very, very sleepy. Or it gets them in a certain mood that's not quite as sleepy. Mm. Skull, thank you very much for that sub. <laughs> both, or both, is the point is right. It could do, it could do both. Would you like it? It was both. I'm actually... You want... It's not like I love falling asleep in your coils or anything. Baka, oh. I think you're... Just... Being stubborn. I think you... Really, really want it. Mm, you like the whisper. You just wait, because I have written two role plays. They're small, because I was very busy, but I have some nice role plays for us to do in a little bit, if you like that kind of thing. Little but thank you very much for that gifted sub. I really appreciate it. Mm. Please, the clown. Oh, I'll do more than that if you let me. Thank you all for the level four hype train, too. You're very, very generous to your goddess. <laughs> Razzle, thank you so much for that sub. I sincerely if I get your name wrong, too, I am very, very terrible at names, so I apologize profusely. And feel free to correct me if I say it wrong. I was saying my day's been very busy, but good. Gregory, thank you very much for that gifted sub and punished snake for that gifted sub as well. An enthralling voice. Is it something you would just love to hear whispered into your ear all night long? Hmm? <laughs> Your first instinct is to call any one of us dinner. Listen. I wouldn't say dinner, but maybe more like toy or plaything. Hmm? I always like to play with my food. <laughs> oh, looks like we broke red already. Hmm. Mommy, I'll be your mommy. I'll be whenever you want me to be. Green Snake, thank you for the thousand bits. 
I really appreciate it. Please, my goddess, accept this humble gift where I cannot stay. But I wish you nothing but happiness and your family good health. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. It's very kind of you. Bit hearing that? Oh, Danny. Mm -hmm. Or so thank you very much for the resub and punished snick for the gifted sub. Thank you very, very, very much. The snake coils are squeezing you. Hmm, you could do that, Squid. I actually have two small role plays planned. Thank you very much for the hydrate, too. Pop. Mm, do you like it when I call you toys? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be my little playthings? Do you like that, chat? Would you be my... Mm-hmm. There is, Orzu. There is. That's Mr. Toy. Oh, using titles now, are we? <laughs> you admit nothing, Red? Well, I think you'll like it a lot. Sean, thank you very much for that gifted sub, too. And for the level five hype train. He's so very, very kind. You're okay with being a toy? Good. I want you to be my toy. Joda Boo, thank you very much for those five gifted subs. I sincerely appreciate Remember, if you get a gifted sub to thank the person who gave it to you, may I give you a compliment, Blazer? Compliments are always welcome here. Go right ahead. <laughs> you have butterflies in your stomach? Oh, really? Am I doing things to you? Mr. Hero, thank you so much for that sub as well. It's very kind and toxic assassin for that gifted sub as well. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. The real cave goblin. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. Remember, chat. You're gonna gift it some. Thank the person that gave it to you. <laughs> this is why I do nothing but spend my points on sacrifice for teams. I'm hopeless. Why, Red? You just want me to get so big for you. Oh, Blazer, that's so sweet of you. You're very, very, very kind. I appreciate that compliment. <laughs> Red, are you okay, darling? Death spirit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Death spirit, thank you so much for that $500 tip. Oh my goodness. You are very generous. I am blown away. Thank you so very, very much. From the bottom of my heart, that was very, very generous of you, Death Spirit. That was wonderful, my gosh. Thank you so much. You're very, very sweet. And thank you for the compliment on my voice. That's very, very kind. I'm a bit blown away right now. I apologize. <laughs> That's something. Thank you guys for that hype dream, too. Uh, 
I really appreciate it. You guys are blowing my mind right now. But I suppose on the 24th of June I can repay the favor on that other platform. Mm -hmm. I can repay you kindly. <laughs> By being a bit more open and free with what I say. I do? Oh, did I miss it? I'm so sorry, Squid. S my activity feed is moving super fast. But Squid, this is for you. <laughs> You've been naughty, Danger. Well, I'm gonna have to wait till that other stream to punish you on that other platform. Faye, compliments are appreciated, huh? I've been a while since I've done this, but Maxi, in the months I've been here, your voice has only gotten more soothing and comforting to listen to. Hopefully that compliment gives you a smile, Faye. That is a wonderful compliment. You always make me smile, Faye. I sincerely appreciate you and everything that you say. Orzuol, thank you very much for the hydrating. So for that other stream, the link to it is in my Hissing Depths Discord under the announcement section. And when I go live, there is usually an announcement about that under the go live section. If you do exclamation point Discord, you can get into my Discord. And on the 24th, you can get into other things too. <laughs> Faye, you're a sweetheart. You know it. You're a sweetheart, Faye. You know what, Faye? I think you deserve some kisses. Mwah. Mwah. There you go, Faye. <laughs> Hello, Galadio. How are you? It's a lot of familiar faces I see here. <laughs> oh, Faye, you're so sweet. <laughs> Hanovi. Oh, is that King Hanovi in my chat? Hmm? <laughs> Can we get a shout out for Hanovi, please? And thank you very much for the resub. Thank you, my mods. How are you doing, Anovi? I have missed you so much, you know. Littlefoot, thank you very much for that gifted sub as well. And Nordic Ronin, thank you very much for that sub. You missed me too, that's very You know, if you stick around, we can do some girlfriend ASMR. Hi, Farron. How are you? I hope you've had a great day. <laughs> Vibrating burrito. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're gonna do some uh, girlfriend ASMR. So I hope you all, you know, can sit back and relax and enjoy it. Mm. I'm looking for, I had to write it today. I was like, hmm, let's write some uh, ASMR role plays. I really tried. It's my first time writing on my own. Usually I have Zolan to look over my stuff for me, but he's been really, really sick. 
So I've just been kind of doing it on my own. So you'll have to let me know if you enjoy it or not. Or, you know, I should get someone to look at it again. <laughs> Hi there, Dread. Welcome to the stream. And welcome to all the first time chatters as well. I appreciate you stopping by. Malvarius, thank you very much for that resub too. I sincerely appreciate it. So what do you say, Chad? Hmm? Should we get into some girlfriend ASMR? Hi, Lade. How are you? I hope you had a great day today, Lade. Oh, thank you so much, Zach. I appreciate it. You're very, very kind. Mmm, you want some girlfriend ASMR, huh? Alright. Well, just imagine, you know, it's been a hard, hard day at work for you. And you're coming home to me. Alright. <laughs> hey, baby. How was your day? Has the boss been giving you a hard time? I'm so sorry. You know, you really should say something. Speak up. You're so smart. I have so many great ideas. Mm -hmm. My day? Well, I was out all morning doing errands and cleaning mostly. So I took care of a few bills. Here, why don't you sit down, huh? I know it's been a really, really long day for you. Working so many hours must be so hard on your feet. Mm. I'm almost done here. Then we can cuddle for a bit. Did you... Did you want a drink? Hmm? Did you want a drink? How about a glass of wine? I know that I'm going to have one. At least, because I have had a long, long day. Just let me get one for you. Just pour you one. sit down, hmm? Just screw this lid back on. You seem kind of quiet. My day was good, though. No, no, no. I'm not up to anything, babe. Here. Mwah. You deserve another kiss. I love you so much. You know, you work so hard. But I need to tell you, I'm a little worried about you. Hey, don't look away from me, please. I miss that smile of yours. I know work has been tough, but I want you to feel good. Just, why don't you let me give you a massage, hmm? 
Maybe rub your head and your ears a little bit. Hmm? You like that, don't you? Here, just, just sit down. You like to have your ears rubbed and your head pat. Hmm? Feels nice, huh? When was the last time you ate anything? Hmm? Oh, come on now. You didn't eat anything last night for supper. Did you even have lunch? It probably wasn't much, was it? Oh, baby. You need to eat something, even if it's small. Can you please, please, try for me? Please. Pretty, pretty, please. Hmm? What do you want to eat? Hmm? Maybe something light. Hmm? I got some popcorn. We can call it a whatever dinner. You can just lounge around and eat junk food. Hmm? Is that... Does that... sound fair? Here, I just got a fresh bag here. Why don't you see if you can catch one of these in your mouth? Here. Here, catch. Oh. Mmm. Nice catch. Mmm. <laughs> you know, this is really great stuff. I always like popcorn with a little bit of cheddar on it. Why don't we grab a blanket? Oh, why don't we cozy up together? Mm -hmm. We can cozy up nice and close. <laughs> mm, why don't I grab some pillows. Hmm? I'll get some pillows for us, okay? I just washed these the other day. Just ruffle them up for you. There. You can rest your head on that. Would you lay down? Hmm? Lay down, darling. Lay down for me. You can be the little spoon if you want. Or maybe you want to be the big spoon? What'll it be? Little spoon or 
big spoon. Mm -hmm. Little big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reverse spoon. <laughs> little? You want to be the little spoon? Oh, darling. Mm. <sighs> I love pressing myself against you and cuddling close like this. I feel so cozy. Mm. Please know that I'll always take care of you, my little one. You're so sweet. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's true. Don't argue. <laughs> it's nice to just lay here with you. And listen to the trees outside the window. You know, the gentle rustling. It almost kind of makes it sound like we're outside in a way. You know. You know, I wish that we could travel more together. Where would you like to go when one of us gets some more vacation time? If you could go anywhere with me, where would you want to go? Hmm? I have some ideas of where I might like to go. Japan. Mmm, those all sound like fun places. Ireland. Mmm. If you could go anywhere. France, Hawaii, Canada. Japan. Lots of Japans. Egypt, Germany. Those all sound lovely. Scotland. Mmm. For me, I kind of like to go somewhere warm because I personally love the beach and the gentle breeze blowing in your ear. <laughs> what? Did you like my pretend wind in your ear? It's not realistic, is it? But use your imagination. We could be lounging together somewhere tropical, watching the sunset together. You and me. Would you like that? Would you like to just lounge and watch the sunset together? Hmm? Just cuddled on nice and close. Me running my fingertips down your chest and your back. Just thinking about all of our dreams and what do we want to do together? <laughs> I 
I went along that. We should do it then. We'll travel together and see the world. There's no one that I would rather do that with than with you. <laughs> you look really tired, though. Why don't I rub your feet with some lotion and you just close your eyes for a bit? Hmm? But that's okay. Just knowing you're resting is good enough for me, my darling. So why don't I get some lotion here for you and just massage your feet a little bit. Rubbing your feet like that. Mm. Just think about all the trips that we could go on together. Looks like you really were exhausted. <laughs> you're so adorable when you're asleep like that. You know? You can't hear me, but the way your hair falls into your eyes just makes me smile. You're so peaceful looking. <sighs> Rest well, my love. I'll see you again in the morning. <laughs> and there you go, chat. I hope that calmed you down a little bit. After a long, hard day, <laughs> I saw all the hydrates in the middle of the role play, so I will do them right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Little foot, thank you very much for the hundred bits. <laughs> no, you weren't gonna get eaten, all right? I wanted to give you a nice, relaxing experience after a hard, long day. Remember, tomorrow's Friday. You have one more day, and you can get through the rest of the week for the weekend. <laughs> it happens, Squid, but I'm glad that you're very, very relaxed. You're okay with getting eaten, you just wait for another roleplay later, if you're okay with that. <laughs> so later, I actually did and wrote another roleplay. That's more giantess and boar related. 
So if you're into that stuff, well, that roleplay is probably more up your alley. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just had to reach back for something. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I would love to uh, do more roleplays like that. Listen, there's going to be a VOD. VODs get posted after every stream. So you can come back and you can watch this anytime you like. But also, I upload them to my YouTube Nexi VODs channel. So you can go and watch it there as well. Whenever you want. <laughs> oh, Squid, I'm so glad to hear that. I want you all to be very, very relaxed when we do ASMR stuff. That's important to me, you know. <laughs> yes. The VODs are there for you to go back and watch it all again. Gregory, thank you very much for that sub. I sincerely appreciate it. <laughs> Little foot, thank you very much for the hundred bits as well. You're very kind. <laughs> I'm excited for tomorrow, too, because... Tomorrow we get to go back and watch some spoopy memes. I know Nuke put out another video, so we're gonna watch that. And then we might play more of the quarry together. Cause it's getting pretty good. <laughs> Have a good night, little foot. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing more of uh, The Quarry. I'm only on like chapter three. So, I think it's about to get uh, pretty good. And I'll have my heart rate monitor on too, so you can watch me get scared out of my mind. Because I do scream and make weird noises for all you newcomers who uh, don't watch me regularly or you're watching me for the very first time. I, uh, I'm a little bit of a gremlin too. Dommy mommy for sure. I'll make you feel things. You never even dreamed of feeling, but I'm also a gremlin. <laughs> exactly right, laid. I'll seduce your pants off tonight, and then tomorrow we'll joke around, and you can throw things at me. I'll have my tits on. <laughs> Not to say I don't have them on right now, ah, uh, but... You'll be able to throw stuff at me. And you'll be able to, you know, use the sound alerts and all that whatnot. I am a snake, Night Ninja. <laughs> I am. I uh, squeal and scream. You should hear my sound alerts. They're literally out of context quotes for me that are sexual and ridiculous. <laughs> so it's, a, uh, you know, I'm not just a one-trick pony, I guess. I do, uh, lots of stuff. I wouldn't say that I'm good at video games, though. I'm just, you know, good enough to get by. <laughs> Lori, mommy, Sorry, gremlin. I'm sorry, mommy. <laughs> Very fair. 
am I a constrictor? Well, specifically, I'm an apophis, but I will constrict you if you want me to constrict you. Mm. Coil you up nice and tight and squeeze. I've been known to do that from time to time. <laughs> Mm, you saw me on Roy's cup of dusk. Oh, Roy is a sweet bun bun. And he's a good friend of mine. So thank you for stopping by my stream. <laughs> the mommy gremlin. Come to mommy and let me cuddle you. Screech. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Original TK, if you have a project, you can email my business email. If you have projects that you're interested in having me be a part of, just email my business email with your idea or your game or whatever it is that you're doing so I can take a look at it. <laughs> It's the best way to go about stuff getting in front of me for projects and things like that is to use my business email, which is on top of my Twitter profile. <laughs> Joke you please. Well, I can't do that on this platform. Maybe on that other platform on the 24th, if you like that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, good to take another sip of water. I can't tell you all how hard it is to not play the chord. I do got a Discord server. If you do exclamation point Discord, it should come up and you can join it. <laughs> you're, excited, you're excited for that other stream on that other platform? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm quite excited too. You know, as much as I love, you know, streaming on Twitch, it doesn't fully let me be myself, you know. Samuel, you want kisses? Here are your kisses, Samuel. <laughs> there are your kisses. And thank you for the hydrate and the posture check, squid. And Ben for the hydrate. You will find the link to my profile in my Discord under the announcement section. So you can follow me there. It's not that hard to find, though. And when I go live on that other platform, it's usually announced in my Discord, so you all can go head over there if you want to. Ben, I hope you're doing well. Do you want me to call you TK? Alright, I can do that. You can just tell me <laughs> what you want me to call you. Kobe. It's no problem. Thank you very much for considering me. <laughs> Dragonuts, okay. Here is, uh, your come to mommy. Mm. Come to mommy. Come and let me coil you up nice and tightly. Mmm. I bet you want me to just wrap myself around you and squeeze you 
so tightly. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that for you. Mm -hmm. The other platform, um, we can't name it on this platform because <laughs> John Twitch gets angry. <laughs> you can't name it my actual name, but it's in my, <laughs> it's in my hissing depths discord under the announcement section. I stream on another platform once a month for the more lewd and sexy streams that allow me to be more of myself and uh, just call it redacted. <laughs> I do have a fansly too that I post, you know, stuff. I need to set up the tiers for that and whatnot. So, uh, you guys can get some lewd real-life pictures and stuff like that from me. Mm. I'll have to set that up soon. It's in the works. I'm trying to catch up on all the stuff that I need to do. Like, me and Miss Moonified are gonna do an audio together. So, we're working on that right now. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. <laughs> and, um... Uh, Hopefully I'll get to work with some other people do, doing voice work stuff, too, of the not safe for work variety. Mm. I have to have the slow mode on because I feel like it's important for me to be able to read chat. And if it's going too fast, I can't read what you guys are saying to me. And I want to be able to read some of the stuff that you guys are saying. Mm. Theron, thank you very, very much. The ASMR mic is quite something. Mm. You pick up every is, you know, not necessarily a bad thing. The only difficult part is because the stand is so high. I can't have my iPhone on its stand because it blocks. It's being blocked by the ASMR mic and you can't see my face or movement. So it's a bit, it's a bit odd positioning right now where it is. It's above. So... That's why my mouth isn't moving as well as it should, but we sometimes we have to make sacrifices in order to listen closely and be more intimate. <laughs> Thank you, Crowley. I think it's important to have, you know, chat interaction. I want you guys to feel special. If I can't read what you're saying, then that's not, it's not fun for me. <laughs> so what I do is, I try to do ASMR bi-weekly. I'll do intimate ASMR, and we might do some roleplay and stuff like that. We just did a roleplay earlier. We did a girlfriend roleplay where you came home from work and I pampered you a little bit. But a bit later, we might do some giantess boar ASMR. So you have that to look forward to as well. I am Goddess Vexoria, the Sun Eater after all. You'd think that I would do an ASMR stream without throwing in some giant ass stuff, hmm? <laughs> I can put the mic close to my chest, but I will tell you, 
my booba is large. If you've seen my fansly and my booba reveal picture <laughs> that was in my hissing depths discord, it's a big booba. So you might, uh, I don't know if you'll hear anything. <laughs> we are going to, uh, om nom later. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I know my voice tends to, uh, puts people asleep. <laughs> it's either put people asleep or make a magged up or both. Sometimes both. Most people say one or the other, though. Like from an anime. Gosh, I can't tell you how badly I would love to voice something from an anime. Even if it's just a little background character to start out. I think it could be a lot of fun. You know? Ideally, I would love to, uh, voice a villainess or something like that. I think it would be really sexy. I should. Well, the problem is getting into it. I don't even know where to start or who to talk to, right? So it's, it's one of those things where it's like, how? I should probably get a demo reel made. What time am I streaming on the other platform? I think it's at 10 Eastern that night. I'd be amazing because my voice is hypnotic. That's very, very kind of you, Gregory. It's very sweet. I, I probably do need a demo reel. Which, you know, I would love to do. <laughs> Vex After Dark. Well, <laughs> it's like Vex After Dark Dark on that platform. <laughs> mm, it's true, Crowley. I, I understand that. A Sailor Moon villainess. Well, like a Queen Barrel or something like that. Like, I'll get you, Sailor Scouts. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of Sailor Moon when I was young. It used to be one of those animes that I was just so into. <laughs> oh, that's good. And it's different. Mm. Vexoria for Sailor Moon villain. <laughs> mm. I remember all Queen Barrel and all of those, the, uh, what were they called? There was like, they were the, the sisters and they represented the dark moon and there was like Catsy and Birdie and all of them. I used to love, love them. The pink lady, right? <laughs> If you want to, Farron, you're more than welcome to my favorite Sailor Scout. I really, really enjoyed Sailor Jupiter. But when I was young, I looked a lot like Sailor Jupiter. I was very tall, you know, I was very thin and busty, and I always wore my hair in a ponytail when I was young. And my hair is like dark brown. So I had a very, 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 I guess, I don't know, interest or I felt a kinship with Sailor Jupiter. I don't know. Chaotic Alpha, I announced it today on my Twitter and it's in my Discord. It's on June 24th. <laughs> you, I was just talking about voice acting and Sailor Moon mostly. And now, I would just love to be able to 
maybe voice a villain or something like that sometime in the future. But there's a lot of things I need to do and figure out. It's just a matter of finding where to start, I think. And, you know, <laughs> you voicing an evil version of me in a daily life with a monster girl abridged project would be smexily hilarious. I love Lamias. Vex, your opinion on necromancy? Yes. Dark characters and that kind of stuff in fantasy is like very yes to me. Like the necromancer and Diablo 4. That looks kind of like, whew, I think I might have to play that. Haven't seen the anime in years, but the remake may be on Netflix for Sailor Moon. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> Bro, I was playing. Listen, don't get me started on dark fantasy and things like that. <laughs> Bro, I was playing Necromancy on Diablo too. I love... Oh, God. I love dark fantasy stuff. Like, that is like my... Oh, it's like if I could... If it was a kink, it would be my kink. It's like Dracula, gothic, dark romance. Role-playing dark characters and villains. Mm. It's just so... I can't help myself, Chad. I just can't help myself. Is Doom Dark Fantasy? Mm, I would guess maybe a little bit. Oh, look, a wild Zolan appears. I thought you had passed out. I did watch Castlevania on Netflix, Squid. I loved the shit out of it. And I know that they're making Castlevania Nocturne. And I'm very excited for that, too. <laughs> I have always found myself drawn to villain characters, too. I I just find villains much more interesting. I feel like you can do more with them. <laughs> it's like they have more depth. I don't know. Mm. Just like Tim Curry. The older you get, the more you understand villains. It's true, right? I can totally get that. Kivos, it's okay. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you very much for stopping by, too. Mm. Try the playing the Castlevania games. Listen, I'm sure the story is great, but I'm very bad at games. I'm very bad at them. <laughs> I can try to play games. Mm. With some villains like to tie people up, listen, there's nothing wrong with bondage, okay? Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Tim Curry is amazing. Please tell me you've all heard Mimkibus's Tim Curry uh, impersonation. It's so good. Mim Curry. It's so good. Mmm. Lord of Stories, you want your lotion. Well, let's give you some lotion, shall we?
gushing too much from this. I haven't done anything particularly super naughty. <laughs> Thank you very much for the hydrate and the posture check. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like I was saying, I enjoy thoroughly the darker stuff when it comes to video games and whatnot. So, I like, I like, like, I've played very briefly the Castlevania series, but I wouldn't say that I'm particularly good at it or anything like that. I tend to go slow with games and horror games, you know, they tend to make me a little bit screamy and jumpy, but I just can't get away from them. I like them way, way too much. I've thought about playing Alien Isolation. I've thought about it. Am I familiar with Vampire the Masquerade? Oh, goodness gracious. I can't tell you how much I love World of Darkness. <laughs> the stream. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I lost my voice there. Watch the stream next Friday. It's on uh, the other platform, which is linked in my Discord, which I can't talk about because John Twitch will get angry. If I was a son, I would want Max to eat me. I'll eat you so much, Mooney. I love you, my friend. <laughs> You're doing good. You just want to support me, Mooney. I love you. Thank you so much. You should all go be supporting Mooney right now. Go give Mooney a follow because Mooney is a wonderful content creator and a fantastic friend. So please go follow and support Mooney. She's wonderful. And I love her. She's fantastic. I can't tell you how much I love Mooney. <laughs> I gotta say, Mom, I mean, Max, you have a beautiful voice. May I ask, what kind of treatment or deal with the devil did you make to get such a voice? Listen, I didn't do anything. I was just born with it, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Don't cry, Mooney. Don't you dare. I will coil you up so fast and give you the tightest hug you've ever, ever had. Mm. Who wouldn't want to be eaten by you, honestly? Right, Gregory? Do you want to ride the slip and slide? Mm. <laughs> The 
believe me, there's a bit of a lineup, but you'll enjoy the ride. Lazenda's like, yes, me. Yes, me next. <laughs> you absolutely need to be eaten by me. Well, don't worry. You'll get to later when I do the more giant dance roleplay. I'm looking forward to doing that. <laughs> but I was talking, I think, before about Vampire the Masquerade and stuff. I love it so much. <sighs> My goodness, I can't tell you how much I love it. <laughs> What's the wait time for the current slide? Mm, there's quite a few people that want to ride the slip and slide. So, you know, I promise it'll be the ride of your life. <laughs> mm. How is my throat? Is the slip and slide in working order? My throat is doing much better. <laughs> Mooney, thank you very much for the hundred bits. I love you. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> mm. My throat's doing a lot better. I uh, had a sore throat and I kind of blew it out before I went on vacation and it was uh it was not good mm -mm. and it was very very like craggy and like raspy even more raspy than my usual bass filled voice <laughs> mm. So it's doing a lot better now. Mooney streams are fantastic. They are. Lots and lots of great energy. Mm. But thank you, Melkor. I appreciate that. Lucky Luke. <laughs> Lucky Luke, this is for you. Mm. Lucky Luke. Come to mommy. Let me give you lots of kisses. Mwah. And make you feel so very good. <laughs> and get you so close to me. And cuddle you tightly. Mm. Oh, dang, I was watching one of your VODs and almost missed this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The VODs are always there for you all. Gregory, I was drinking hot tea like crazy. <laughs> you feel special in this stream? Well, ASMR is meant to be very intimate and make you feel like it's just one on one with me. Antione, thank you very much for the hydrate. <laughs> with being a Lamia, can you shape shift? Well, being a goddess, I have transformation powers. So. I can change myself into my human form if I want to. I haven't revealed that yet. But you saw a picture with me with two legs on my Twitter. So it is possible. But it's not my real human form. My real human form looks a bit different. But <laughs> that's for later. That's for much later, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm very excited though because I want to eventually get like a human model done so I'll be able to switch back and forth between my Lamia form and my human form that's something that I would love to be able to do for you all and maybe have it be like a redeem or something like that I think it would be fun and cool. The, the thing is, models cost a lot of money. <laughs> it's like getting a good quality model and rigged is a lot. So it's something that is a future goal for me that I would love to be able to do for you all. I do have a human form. I said I have transformation powers. I used to be a human before I was a snake goddess. You do love the snake leg. I bet you do, Mazenda, you bad girl. You just want to feel the tip of my tail, don't you? <laughs> it would be kind of neat to be able to do that. Ah, uh, there's Mazenda. I've killed her. Mazenda dot exe has stopped working. There's a thing, Foxfire. If I'm using this special 3DO mic, it doesn't work with voice mod because it's a specialized mic and has specialized inputs. So it doesn't seem to play nice with this mic for whatever reason. I haven't figured out a way for it to work. So unfortunately for ASMR, there is no snake voice. Sadly. <laughs> Slowly but surely destroying my own mods. The only ones that I don't think I've actually broken yet are Zolan, because he's so used to being around me, he, he's completely desensitized to my sexiness. And Sky, I don't think I've broken Sky. Sky is very, very sweet and quiet and, you know, takes care of me and protects me, but don't, I don't think he's ever been broken by me or anything like that. Do I have a schedule? I put my schedule out every week, usually on Sundays. It's posted in my Hissing Depths Discord. And I post it on Twitter as well. Oh, a Mexi say something. Well, Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord. You're my good dragon servant. Yes, you are a good dragon servant for your goddess. <laughs> Gregory, it's possible when you've been with somebody for a long time, you kind of get used to their, I don't even know what to call it, maybe bullshit, maybe uh, sexy stuff, I don't know. I am a, I am a, a bag of <laughs> gremlin and lewd. We'll say quirks, yeah, we'll call it quirks. <laughs> you see, like me and Zolan have been together for quite a while. We're going to be uh, married for like, God, seven years, but we've been together for like ten so, I mean, he's used to my crap. Spectral Composition, thank you very much for that resub. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Mm, Gremlin loot. Gremlude, is that what we're going to call it now? 
We're not going to call it like Ludesome. We're just going to call it Gremlude. <laughs> I can't. Gremlude. <laughs> Javio, hello. Welcome. Dr. Church, thank you very much for that gifted sub. It's very kind of you. Oh, Philly, you want marbles, do you? Loot hole? Are you serious right now? You want to call me a loot hole? Okay, I'm going to do the marbles. Listen, I thought you were too sick to be a gremlin today, sir. You shit fuck. All right, here's your marbles. It was right there. <laughs> I'm such a wonderful dork. Welcome to the Hissing Depths, where we are lewd, gremlin, and extremely dorky. <laughs> Thank you very much for the hydrate as well. literally like lost a singular marble. It's like ba-dunk. <laughs> the holy trinity. A blued gremlin in utter chaos. Mm. Thank you, Princess Zelda Van. That's very kind of you to praise me. Mm. Just how you like it. Good. Mm. I will. It's usually posted on Twitter whenever I go live. I throw a go live on there and people can show up if they like and see if it's, you know, to their liking. And I don't get offended either if, you know, like I said, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm just going to focus on those two marbles. Mmm, which marbles are you talking? I assure you, they're bigger than marbles. Just saying. <laughs> but it's my shot of vodka. Yeah, as I said, you know, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but somewhere I am somebody's shot of vodka. <laughs> That's all right. Well, thank you, Obsidian Oni. That's very kind of you, because I actually do love Mountain Dew and Doritos and lewd anime manga. That is some things that I do enjoy very much. <laughs> is she going to like that squid? <laughs> I'm glad. Um... Uh, 
Vega, that's so kind of you, and welcome to the stream. Mmm, titties and vodka, mmm. They are two great things. <laughs> Crowley. I'm a gallon, I'm a whole meal, a complete dinner, with sides and three drinks, wow. Mmm. Does that mean if I'm a whole dinner that you're going to eat me? Hmm? Just slurp. Steady milk is the bug. Squid, thank you very much for the hundred bits. I appreciate that. And Dr. Church, thank you very much for that. So, <laughs> oh, that's very nice, Squid. I'm glad. That's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much for that posture check as well. Does Mountain Dew go well with sacrifices? Every sacrifice has their own special flavoring. And you're all... Positively delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much for that hydrate as well. <laughs> Thank God I have my headphones on for this. Your voice is so sultry. I can't help it. You all just bring out the best in me. Mm. Thank you very much, dragon. I did. I complicated and got my honors degree. So thank you very, very, very much. I appreciate that. Browning. Thank you very much for that resub, too. It's very sweet of you. <laughs> Skull, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful night. How much was this microphone? Well, I had a very generous benefactor by the name of Sky who paid for this microphone. And I think it was somewhere in the ballpark at around mm, 500 or so. Something like that. So, and that was from my subathon back in February. So, thank you very much, the sky. If sky's here, that's for you, sky. Mm -hmm. How am I? I'm doing much better now that you're here. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Your voice has had me in subspace this entire night. That's how amazing it is. That's very... That's very sweet of you. Yeah, you know, audio equipment is not cheap. Especially if you want quality audio equipment. It's not cheap. Like, VTubing in general is not cheap. If you want to get quality stuff. And it's why I tell people it's very expensive. And to start slow, if you want to get into VTubing, and start with like a PNG and to see for like, see if you like it, if you like streaming, don't, don't just dump thousands of dollars into it. Vex and a black hole have something in common. The more they consume, the bigger they get. You like it when I'm big, though, chat. Don't lie to your goddess. You like it when I'm so big, wrapped around you tightly, don't you? Mm. How long will I be streaming for? Well, it depends on how I'm feeling. You know, I just kind of go until I feel, I feel like I'm good. 
Dex gone savage. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> hmm. Quality time and the time is money, and there's likely a bunch of economic. What was I saying? <laughs> you like it when I'm gigantic. Well, I think many of you will agree with that. Hmm. That's true. That's true, TK. You didn't do that for me. <laughs> You're making cheese danishes while listening to this. My goodness. I'm amazed you can concentrate. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have another sip of water here. Hope you don't mind, Jack. while you're drawing. I've heard that too, you know. Some people just throw me on in the background while they do stuff. And it's very flattering. <laughs> mm, it's good to be back. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so very glad. But why don't why don't we get into some giantess role play? Would you like that? Hmm? <laughs> Thank you very much for the hydrates, God. You want some giant grape snake mommy? Is that it? <laughs> Let me just pull this up here. <laughs> Let's help me get into character, yeah? Well, I'll grow for you. I'll get so big, big, just for you, chat, while we do this ASMR. Nice and big for you. So very, very big. <laughs> nice and close. So let's Get this roleplay started, shall we? Let's set the scene. You are so, so very small. A stranger wandering into the hissing damps for the first time. The warm sun beats down upon you as the sand tickles your bare feet. It's not too hot yet. It's quite early in the day after all. The tall stone walls have teal gold and purple tapestries littered around the sides. Water trickles 
from nearby fountains. The temple looks quite welcoming to you, in fact. And you hear some slight humming from the inside. What should I do today? Make the sacrifices, brush my hair, make them clean my tail. Hmm. I don't readily recognize you. Are you? Are you new here? Are you here to worship the goddess Vexoria, the Sun Eater? Hmm? Well, are you? Maybe you bet I am. Heck yeah. Heck yes, yes, ma'am. Hmm. You're here to worship? Absolutely, yes, yes, goddess, yes. I'm new and I'm ready to worship. Oh. <laughs> well. Where are my manners? I'm Goddess Vexoria, the Sun Eater. I'm an ancient snake goddess with a love of growing, lust, and all things <sighs> delicious. I have to say, and you look very delicious. <laughs> Hello, little one. Don't worry, I won't eat you just yet, but what do I really owe the pleasure of this? A lesser goddess would have killed you already, you know, for being uninvited. You're awfully brave to come all this way into my domain all by yourself. But I admire that, you know. Bravery. Strength. Stamina. Resilience. You look rather smart, too. Hmm. I'm sure time will tell, though. <laughs> I suppose that brings about a question, though, doesn't it? What shall I do with you? Hmm? What should I do with you? Whatever you wish, goddess, nothing, whatever you desire. Hmm. Any ideas? Play Mario Kart with us. <laughs> Show me the Muppet Man. Love me. Well, you're good for an embrace. Hmm. Kisses. 
You did break into my temple. Should I defend myself? Should I just pick you up and break you like a twig? Hmm? Maybe crush you like an ant. Maybe use my breasts to press you down and make you a crater and a new oasis in my temple. Hmm? Maybe. Maybe I might just devour you after all. Like, hmm, maybe this apple here just bite you like I wonder, do you taste better than this apple? Smell good. Mmm. Let me just have a little taste. You certainly have a distinct flavor, too. Mmm. <laughs> I won't eat you yet, though. I like to savor my meal. Why don't you join me for a walk? Hmm? What do you say? <laughs> Up you go. Oh, there. Rest yourself right here on my breast. You can see everything from up here, you know. <laughs> I'm sure that you've noticed that I'm utterly massive, but I can get bigger, you know. I can grow so, so big. <laughs> mm hmm I can get so, so big. I can grow bigger and bigger that I might even rip my clothing. <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, good. You didn't fall off. I'm so glad. You're quite the resilient one, aren't you? Such a good little tiny. Mwah. You know, stay right here, and if 
you play your cards right, you might stick around for a while, or until I'm very hungry. <laughs> Let's take a walk, or slither, shall we? <laughs> if you want to be my new sacrifice for me, you know how to just listen and do as you're told, don't you? Hmm? Do you know how to listen and do as you're told? Hmm? Tell me. Okay, Mommy, yeah? Yes, you're a very good listener. <laughs> but why don't I show you the lay of the land here in the hissing depths. We welcome everybody here, no matter who you are or what you identify as. We take care of one another, but above all, you must praise the Sun Eater. Can you do that? Can you praise the Sun Eater? Mm hmm? Why don't you do so right now? Why don't you give me a compliment? Tell me something nice and sweet. Tell me something to butter me up. You're very pretty, Mommy. Oh, thank you. Your beauty already outshines the sun, squid. Oh, kind of you. You are the greatest goddess. I appreciate your dark hair. Mmm. You love my big boobs. Mmm. I've heard that one before, too. I adore your eyes glow. Oh, it's so sweet. You're so complimentary. <laughs> what? Oh. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I could just swallow you whole without a second thought. Mm. But you might like that, I think. I can see your face. I bet you would like it if I wrapped my tongue around your body and swallowed you whole, wouldn't you? Mm. You naughty little thing. <laughs> Get you cleaned up, shall we? Give you a bath. You look dreadful, darling. Oh, here. Look. <laughs> There's a pool here that I could just drop you right in. Hmm? I think it will do really nicely. Just drop you right in. There. Swim. Move your legs. There you go. How does the water feel? That's it. Get yourself all cleaned up for your goddess. 
It won't take that long. But don't dawdle. I have things to do, you know. I'm terribly busy. Say, you wouldn't mind helping your new goddess out today, would you? <laughs> would you? Hmm? Would you like to help me out? You don't mind? You would do anything for me. Oh. You'd be happy to. Good. I'm so, so glad. Now come here, you adorable little thing. Oh, you smell much better than before. Much, much better. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. You're making me so, so very, very mm, hungry. I can't help myself around you, little one. You seem so sweet and so delectable. What if I just... Mm. You taste even better now. <laughs> Why don't you come for a ride, hmm? Down the slip and slide. I promise that you'll love it. Oh, wait. Don't, don't run. Get back here. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> there. You thought you could escape me. Goddess Vexoria. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, my little sacrifice. There's only one place for you now. <laughs> Bottoms up. Mm. 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 You taste mm, so good and slow, so mm, flavorful. my way eventually, darling. Think of this as a great becoming for you. You're a part of a goddess. I wouldn't have it any other way. Would you, Chad? Well, would you, Chad? <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, best ending. Never you love it this.
this way, you become one with the snake goddess. <laughs> I thought not. Just think, all of those other sacrifices will be joining you soon, too. I bet they're going to taste just as good. Oh, hmm, I think I see another one now. Hmm, come here, come to mommy. <laughs> There, chat. And that was your giantess vor roleplay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of fun to write, to be honest with you. I saw a lot of redeems when I was doing my roleplay, and I'm sorry that I couldn't get to them. <laughs> I need to take a sip of water. <laughs> I did see a tear clothing. I just grew. So hopefully I can do some more tearing of that clothing. If I can grab it here for you all. If I can find another piece to rip. <laughs> there. <laughs> you can run if you want to. I promise. I just... I had more to rip. There we go. We are all very anti-clothing around here. It's true. If I had my way, I wouldn't be wearing any right now. But that's for a different model on a different platform. <laughs> it's more like I need to find the scissors in my house, Squid. Because it's easier when clothing has pre-rips in them. Hang on a second. There we go. I found another piece here. You can hear Zolan coughing. Poor Zola. <laughs> He's just dying. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Thank you very much for the hydrate. He's actually quite sick right now. Quite, quite sick. <laughs> Thank you very much for the hydrate. I have to lend in my energy. <laughs> I feel bad because I feel like maybe, maybe if it wasn't me who got him sick, it's probably Little Snake. So he'll he'll be okay though. He's he he's over his fever, I think. It was totally. 
That's very fair. Does Zohan need kissies? Hmm? Does Zohan need some kissies to feel better? Hmm? Zohan, do you need kissies? Hmm? Plus. Plus. There you go, my tiny little cultist. It's just for you. As he promptly coughs. <laughs> you coughed in the goddess's face. How dare you? Cough, cough. The poor guy, I felt so bad for him. He hasn't been sleeping. <laughs> I felt so bad. Where do you sign up to be a cultist? Listen, you're you're already a snack revise. Mm. You should beg for it. His life is slipping. Maybe if he's a good boy, I'll pamper him a bit more. Actually, uh, time to rejoin the kettle. <laughs> I did actually go out and I got him some specialized tea to help with sleeping and for his throat. So hopefully that will help. He's got cough drops. He's got everything that you could possibly imagine. He's got a whole pharmacy. <laughs> I asked him today if he needed anything else. And I went and I got a whole bunch of chicken noodle soup. I went out. And I was like, I got him the tea. I was like, do you need anything else? <laughs> his birthday's coming up, so he has to be better for his birthday on Monday. He can't be sick on his birthday or Father's Day. That's bullshit. It's utter bullshit. You have to get well. The cure, the cure for illness is snitties. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I wish that my snitties had more healing powers. But sadly, they do not. But thank you very much for the hydrate. I hope he does too, you know. I hope he does too. He deserves to be well on his birthday. <laughs> if we still stick on Father's Day just weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> it's gonna be hard because like I got everything done for his birthday and Father's Day. So I'm like, I need you to be well. I got stuff for you. You can't be laying dead in bed all day. Get up, please. <laughs> but hopefully he'll be okay. Rip me. <laughs> the Snitties do have healing powers. I had tendonitis and watched all the Vex mods. And now my wrist is fine. Clearly healed by Snitties. Clearly, Spectral. Clearly. <laughs> So long, please be healed by the power of Snitty. <laughs> listen, I went, oh, listen, I will have to tell you guys the ordeal of this morning after Father's Day and his birthday. I cannot tell you it right now because it would give so much stuff away. But this morning has been an ordeal to get things done. No, it's fine, Zolan. You're fine. It, it'll, you're fine. Don't take off your headset. 
Don't do it. <laughs> Enjoy your comfy vibe, Zolan. Zolan, I don't mind stripping. <laughs> of course you don't. Of course you don't, because when I came home, you were in the kitchen in your underwear and a t-shirt. And you're like, I'm sweating. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? You have no pants on. <laughs> it was just so cute, because he never does that. He never does that. I know you were sweating, but it was funny because you, you're you never like that. It's like he was just there in his underwear. <laughs> Walk through the back door. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? You have no pants on. It was more like, oh, I see you have no pants on. And he was all like, I'm sweating like crazy. And I was like, oh, well. This is not going the way I want it to go. <laughs> You're too sick for that. Hey, apple milk, how are you, darling? <laughs> how are you, apple milk? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> but that was kind of, it was kind of an ordeal today. And then I got home and I did all the things I needed to do for like the stream and social media and everything like that. And then I had to go pick up my son and it was, uh, and then, you know, get supper. And I was like, fuck it, we're ordering pizza. Because by the time I get back, I wouldn't have enough time to make supper and Zolan's sick and I would not expect him to make supper. So... I was like, fuck it, we'll just order pizza. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I know you're too plagued to make supper. I would not want you to make supper and cough all over the food. That's just gross. <laughs> I'm melting hearing you say my name in that mic. Apple milk. Squid, thank you very much for that muted sub. And the Renegade Raven, thank you very much for that sub as well. <laughs> I appreciate that. Mm. Stop, I don't have insurance. Oh, apple milk. There's no stopping the snake goddess now. <laughs> Thank you very much for the hydrate. Mm. I also have a glass of wine here that I have not drank. <laughs> Maybe I should. I'm actually partial to... Uh, pink Moscato wine. It's kind of my favorite. Mm. Raven, Pepe, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Apollo, you want some kisses, darling? Well, here are your kisses. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your kisses. Mm. You'd like a head back? I can give you some ear rubs. Maybe I'll do that for everybody. Maybe I will give some ear rubs to everyone. Is that what you'd like, Chad? Some ear rubs.
<laughs> Your ears started to move on their own. Oh, goodness. My ASMR is the only one that make you act like a fool. Mr. Crash and Burn. It's very, very flattering. You're very sweet. Uh, it's very, very kind of you. I have a, I have a thing for praise, so I like compliments a lot. When you guys give them to me, it makes me feel so tangly and warm. <laughs> You're welcome, Farron. I am so glad that you liked your ear rubbies. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you redder than a tomato. Mm, does that mean it does things to you? Does things. Affirmations are so nice. Do you want to hear some affirmations, chat? you like me to tell you some nice things? Mm. <laughs> I can tell you how wonderful you all are and how much I love you. You all make me feel so special. I can't tell you how perfect you all are, just the way that you are. You will always be welcomed in my hissing depths. And I will always be your grape snake mommy. You are good, good people. Please know that you're doing your best. <laughs> and tomorrow is Friday. Friday, you've made it to the end of the week. Just one more day, Chad. And then you can relax because it'll be the weekend. And you can take a breath and know that you've done so well. I love you for everything that you've managed to get through up until this moment. You are wonderful, hard-working people that deserve lots of love and support from everyone. So thank you. Thank you for being just the way you are. All right. You're wonderful and perfect and fantastic the way you are. Don't change. Don't change. We love you for you here. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. I feel like you deserve it. You have exams tomorrow. I hope you do well. Oh, miss, thank you so, so very, very much. You hear something like this every two to four months. Listen, I will give you affirmations every two weeks if you want them. Alright? I do ASMR bi-weekly. Hmm? So what do you say? We can make another date. Two weeks from now. Mm-hmm. I do. Sound crack. I do ASMR. Once every two weeks, 
we kind of just relax and have a good time together. You've been really down. You're, you know what? I hope that my affirmations lifted you up. <laughs> affirmations are important, you know. Everybody deserves to be told how wonderful they are and that they're doing a good job. And you're all doing a good job. Hey, Juso. How are you, darling? <laughs> We're just giving some affirmations to chat right now and telling them that They've done a good job this week. And how wonderful they are. A big titty snake whispers in your ear like this. Like this. I'm doing quite well. We've done some uh, ASMR role play tonight. We've done some girlfriend role playing. And then we've done some giantess and vor role play and we've told chat how wonderful they are and we've talked about lots of different things so it's been it's been a fun stream oh crowley that's very sweet of you no thank you for coming to my stream i appreciate all of you that come into my stream and spend time with me even if it's just for a minute to pop in and say hi mm. i appreciate it oh thank you juzo you're very sweet you know it's meant to be very calm but some people say it makes them act up which I'm not opposed to either. I saw that you're, I saw that request there, Squid. For a friend who wasn't able to make it, could you use this motherly tone to talk like you're safely and tightly coiling them up for some sleep? I can do that for you, Squid. So to your friend that's not here, come close to me, darling. Let me coil you up so very, very tightly against me. And touch your hair and rub your back and give you a nice, nice hug. Mm. I bet you would love to feel me squeeze you tightly. Mm. I know that I can get a bit rough sometimes, but think of coiling as a nice hug. <laughs> and maybe if you play your cards right, we can coil again sometime. Mm. Punky Doo, thank you very much for that resub. And Alec the Shy for the resub as well. <laughs> thank you very much for the hydrate, too. <laughs> Hello, Flex. How are you? I hope they enjoy it too, Squid. <laughs> uh, I try to tell you guys how wonderful you are, you know, because, uh, because you deserve it. Like I said, like, I wouldn't be here without you. And courier, so if you're curious about the coiling, you just wrap your tail around people. Well, it's not so simple like that, Juzo. It's more of a slow seduction. It's like a dance. 
a slither. Mm, it's like a hug in a way. And we get nice and intimate and close. I feel you. And you feel me. <laughs> so coiling is very, very special. It's my tail, of course it's my tail. You can do lots of things with a tail, you know. Some things uh, we can't really talk about here. That's a stream for that other platform on the 24th. <laughs> it does it sound lovely, Juzo? Maybe, maybe I'll wrap myself around you sometime. Mm -hmm. Miss can attest. The coiling is really nice. Isn't that right, Miss? You bad girl. <laughs> Clint, thank you very much for that gifted sub. And in view, thank you very much for the resub as well. Ah, oh, look, we broke Miss again. Ah, oh, shame. <laughs> Sure, Blazer, if you want to give me a compliment, you're more than welcome to. Well, thank you very much for that level two hype train, too. I have your interest. Good. I'm always breaking Miss, but I love Miss very much. I take pleasure in breaking her. <laughs> Mm. What? What, miss? I don't know what you're talking about, darling. I think this calls for a kissy. Hmm? Miss being all cute and whatnot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Soundcrack, thank you. Thank you very much, too. I really appreciate it. It's very kind of you to say that. And thank you all for that level two hype dream, too. Mm, I see those emotes, miss. You want me to break you? I'll break you. Just say the word. I hope you find some sleep, Billy. You've been staying up till 11 or 12, trying to finish a bunch of stuff. Get some rest. Mm. Bones can be healed. That's true. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Squid. Thank you for that. I do have all of my VODs on my Vexy VODs channel. So Bass Days and Mars are on there, too. It is quite fun, Juzo. I think we have that in common. <laughs> My mods, can we get a shout out for Juzo if it hasn't happened already? I would appreciate that. And congrats on getting partner, by the way. Purple check mark looks good on you, darling. <laughs> Although I am lewd, I'm very wholesome too, it's true. I have that uh, lewdsome quality about me, I guess. Or, as a certain little shit liked to say earlier, grim lewd. A lewd hole, yeah, thank you for that. You're supposed to be sick and unavailable. You're welcome, Juzo. <laughs> oh, you don't need to hypnotize me to make me serve my goddess. Oh, wow. Thank you. I see y'all laughing because I'm calling Zolan a shitter. I'm pretty sure if we were in the same room, Vex, people wouldn't survive. Probably not. 
but is that really a bad thing? I mean, breaking people and making them, you know, lustful and whatnot. Vex is wholesome is why I'm here. The lewd coils are just a very pleasant bonus. I do my best to strike a balance between the wholesome and the lewd, you know. Like we said, we talk about serious stuff here, too. And tell people how great they are. Because it's needed. I think it's needed in this world. And people can forget that they're great. So I'll happily tell them that they're wonderful. <laughs> it is a wonderful thing to see people squirm. <laughs> and of course, praise the Sun Eater, too. I do love that. <laughs> I would not need to be broken because I'm already a bottom, bottom for facts. Listen, I'm certain that there's a lot of people that are bottom for me. I mean, just look at Dandy. He wears my collar for crying out loud. <laughs> and of course, you know, there's Zomon and everyone else, right? <laughs> and, you know, there's Mazenda. My good girl, Mazenda. <laughs> I tend to focus on the negativity, so thank you, dear Sun Eater, for realigning my focuses. Oh my goodness, is that the Gaia goddess writing me? Can we get a shout out for the beautiful and gorgeous Gaia Mods. How was your stream, Gaia? I hope that it was fun. <laughs> and welcome, Raiders. Welcome to the Hissy Depths. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Goddess Vixoria, the Sun Eater. We're just doing some ASMR right now. <laughs> Flex, thank you very much for continuing your gifted sub as well. Mm. We're talking about how wonderful it is to make people squirm with ASMR. It was good. It did some rock and stones. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. She's breaking us. Listen, Miz. Are you complaining, my good girl? My good, good girl. Are you complaining for mommy? Mm, you should be. Or else you might get a spanking. <laughs> You haven't been here, but I think I've broken about every single mod except for Zolan and you. I think I've broken every single mod except for you and Zolan. And Zolan, well, I've been with Zolan for a long, long time, so he's desensitized to my bullshit. But you, you are very stoic and very, very... You know, I guess professional would be the right word. <laughs> no, Zolan, he's not too powerful. Don't, don't listen to that bullshit. I'm too powerful. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's more like I've been with this woman for 10 years and I am desensitized to her utter lustful ways. <laughs> you're welcome, Sky. I was singing your praises earlier, too, because you're the one that bought me this mic. 
So thank you very much for allowing me to do ASMR. I appreciate you greatly. <laughs> Sounds like a good place to be, to be honest. Mm. Collective thanks to Sky. Sky is a wonderful mod. Mm -hmm. I appreciate him greatly. Thank you very much for the hydrate, too. <laughs> oh, and Novi. Have you been lurking, you bad boy? Hmm? Have you been lurking, Hanobi? You have, huh? Hmm. I missed you. Hmm. I missed you, my skeleton king. Hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Poops are too heavy for flight. <laughs> Listen, Mrs. Boops are wonderful and beautiful. And she can fly if she wants to. She's, you know, she might just have a little bit of drag. It's fine, though. I totally get it. Gosh, I just got... I just got an image of my tail trying to do a helicopter and my boobs, like, just dragging across the ground. Oh, the image won't go away. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we don't have liftoff. We don't have liftoff. Scrap that. <laughs> it needs to be an emote. Just swa 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 swa. No, no. She's going down. <laughs> Failure to launch. <laughs> My voice is making you blush. I can't help it. It's just how I talk. Ah, oh, it's busted. Oh no, snake broke. Break the snake. It's broken. <laughs> it's a helicopter snake. <laughs> Break the snake. <laughs> Soupy the fox, can you say O oh, with your mouth closed? <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Thank you very much for the 500 bits. I got built-in airbags for the crash. Well, that's true. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Vex. You are a beautiful goddess. Have an amazing, amazing Friday. Wish you the best on Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll tell Zola that. <laughs> I was telling Zolan, I'm like, Zolan, all those people on Twitter are calling you daddy and dilf. <laughs> you should demand macaroni art and stuff like that. <laughs> because you're, you're, they're your, you're their daddy. Demand the macaroni art. Must be because of the cake. Yeah, must be. That must be it. <laughs> Listen, I want a dog so bad. I have no idea. But, unfortunately, we can't get a dog right now. We can't get a dog. And I'm sad about that, but it is what it is. We just don't have the room. 
Have a good night, Growly. I appreciate it. <laughs> if I could get a dog, I can bark. Apple milk. <laughs> Apple milk, you want to bark for me? You good girl, just bark. Just give me a little bork bork. <laughs> if I could get a dog, what dog would I get? I would probably get a Grey Pyrenees. Just because... Where I live is very cold. <laughs> Apple milk. Apple milk is a dog confirmed. Thank you for your wolf wolf bork bork. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's bork in time. <laughs> I would get a yeah, I would get a great Pyrenees. Because, like, they're good family dogs, do, And they're just, they're great, you know, floofy big dogs. And I, uh, I like the floofy big dogs. <laughs> uh, morbid time. Where's Sally? Sally's not here. I was gonna yell, I was gonna yell, it's Morbin time. Just for her. You had one of those when you were a kid, a beautiful dog. Oh, so sweet. See, that's kind of why I want one. Oh gosh, Zola, are you okay? <laughs> He's like, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. I feel so bad. <laughs> I know. He's exactly that's what I was saying. He's not doing good. He's really not doing good. <laughs> Poor guy. I feel so bad for him. There's literally nothing I can do. Nothing I can do for him. He took a COVID test and it came back negative, so... He doesn't have COVID, at least. He's just super sick. Mm. Poor Zolan. He needs all the... He needs all the TLC he can get. <laughs> uh. But what do you say, chat? <clears throat> What do you say we look for somebody to raid, huh? What kind of music do I listen to? Oh, I listen to a lot of stuff. Actually, I was starting to listening listen to, um... Oh, shit, what were we listening to in the car the other day? That we hadn't listened to in a while. Nightcore, that was it. Bam. I was listening to Nightcore stuff the other day. Which is really fun. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find somebody to raid. Hmm. Why don't we why don't we raid oh look. Actually I was just talking to Mim earlier, and it looks like Mim and Taka are streaming. So we can send you all over to the weary if you want, because the weary is on right now. We'll send you over to Taka, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow when we watch some more spooky stuff, and uh, maybe play more of the quarry. I love you all, and have a good rest of your night. Okay? <laughs> da da, my darlings. I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>